Basic routines from Kyiv. My name is Viktor Fursov and today is July 3, 2020. And today we will be talking about very interesting beetle, biscuit beetle or bread beetle and the Latin name Stegobium paniceum and about how to get rid of this pest from your kitchen, from your house. Because many people can see it in your kitchen, in house and worry about this beetle. Well, you can recognize here so many beetles sitting here in Petri dish. Why? Because we were feeding on cereals. Yes, the common name of this beetle is bread beetle or drugstore beetle. Stegobium panicem, Latin name. But drugstore beetle because larvae of this beetle can eat different dry herbs which have been used in pharmacies as well and which are using as well but in your kitchen or your house these funny beetles the larvae can eat absolutely different and many different food for instance it can be grains damaged grains cereals breads dry bread cookies chocolates sweets bird seeds grains, pet food, uh, red pepper and other spices, flour, dry flowers, almost any food that we can find. And by the way, we can also damage some other things. We can damage some books, some binding of books, fur, some museum specimens, some entomological collection as well. And this is a really serious pantry pest because before finding food resource beetles can make their holes in different materials to find it. And larvae we can escape from different resources when also making holes and damage different materials. Uh, how do they develop in your kitchen or in your house? Actually, these are tiny beetles, just about 2 mm long. They're very fragile. You can easily recognize them because they fly very well. They are running very well, very fast. So easy to recognize. They are brown colored, cylindrical shape. If you touch this beetle, you can easily kill it because these beetles are very fragile. and. They can be easily smashed with your nail or just a finger. But nevertheless, there are a lot of these beetles. So that's why we can survive, make a huge generation and de damage different foods in the kitchen or in your house. Because female of this beetle lay many eggs, in average 75 eggs, usually from 20 till 100 14 eggs and egg hatch in 9 year, days and larvae developing inside different food resources making special capsule where the larva pupate and wait for development of pupa and then from this food resource the beetle or adult will hatch again. Actually these beetles can be easily attracted to light, so you can see how beetles flying in the direction of sunshine, in the direction of a window. That's why you can commonly and easily find these beetles near the window, and you can worry about it. But how to avoid them? How to get rid of them? How to control them? First of all, you need to investigate different food resources to find these beetles and to clean these resources. Because if you can find some cracks, some small crevices of different materials, some dry food damaged with these beetles, with small cracks and crevices, better to throw it, throw it away, clean your packs, material packs, tissue packs, because larvae of this drugstore beetle or biscuit beetle can develop inside this food resource. Actually, you can use also vacuum cleaner to clean, 
shelves of where you can keep different food in your kitchen. Uh, more professionally you can buy special pheromone traps to attract males of these beetles. They will be attracted, sticked to the trap, but only males will be attracted. So females will be more or less around. So you need still to clean your area to avoid all beetles around. And finally you can use also a different insecticides, pheromones. Not pheromones, but aerosols, sorry. Aerosols with insecticides. So after cleaning you can make one or two spray of insecticides and it will kill all living beetles everywhere around your kitchen or house. A common problem is that what they can damage, actually they damage different food materials because they eat it and inside will be some feces, urines, some physiological materials, so better to avoid this food and do not eat it, do not give it for pets as well. Some people worry about these beetles because they are flying everywhere around, so people worry about do they bite? No, they do not buy, bite, so they are not dangerous at all. As I said, they are very fragile, so you can easily damage and kill them, but they do not bite and they do not make any damage for humans, they do not transmit any diseases, they just make some kind of nuisance, so it can be considered as a nuisance pests. And by the way, we have also uh, special small parasitoids, small parasitic wasps, which we can find the larvae of these beetles inside different materials, inside dry food, dry spices, dry pest food. And parasitoids will eat the larvae inside food resource. That's why sometimes even in the winter, in the autumn, in the cold, period of summer and period of year you can find some of these beetles and you can find very tiny black and or greenish small parasitic wasps on your window which can be attracted to the light but these tiny small parasitic wasps they are feeding on beetles and reducing their population but not so drastically not 100 percent that's why Beetle will still survive to give a food resource for parasitoids and again, again will damage new and new food around. That's why better to make all preventional me measures to put all different food in tight, in airtight containers, in different vacuum containers to prevent coming of these beetles through different holes, through crevices of boxes, put in a very tight plastic container so all your food or spices or bread or grain or even food for pets. So that's all measures which you can use. Don't worry about these tiny beetles. Of course they are slightly irritating but they are not transmitting any diseases, as I said, so that's why their damage is also a nuisance. And you can easily avoid them. This funny drugstore beetle, Stegobium paniseum, or the same name, biscuit beetle, Stegobium paniseum. Thank you for watching. I hope it was funny for you to see these beetles under the microscope, under the magnification and zoom, so you can see the nervous behavior because we have running very quickly and flying very quickly, so running fast usually and can penetrate different places very easily. That's why close all your necessary food in tight, in vacuum, in zip, containers and zip packs as well. So thank you for watching, press likes and write your comments and ask your questions in the private messages and please you can visit also my Patreon page to give acknowledgement of my work
and my small presentations about different insects and about different pests and other animals on my channel to give acknowledgement to my work on my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. This was Viktor Fursov in Kyiv, Ukraine and Drugstore Beetle as well. Write your comments. Feedback is very important and supportive for me. Bye bye. See you soon on my channel. Yeah.